So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, and more specifically, we're still here at Ricketts Glen State Park. I just got done hiking what's called the old Beaver Dam Trail, which is a beautiful trail. Um, a little bit early, I'm going to be camping here tonight, just a little bit after 3. Um, Check-in time is right now, I already checked into the office, but I think I got some time yet. No need to get to my campsite too quickly, but we're going to check out something I've been wanting to see for a little while now. The ruins of the Lake Lee Dam. Here's a map, I'm not sure. I think I'll be better showing you the map I have in my bag. This one's a little bit of a glare on there. But anyway, we're gonna head. This is oh, one of the parking lots for the beach area, I think. Yeah, but we're gonna make our way down. Uh, where are we going? We're going down this way, down to where the family cabins are. We need to head down this way. I'll show, I'll show you a better map later. And then we're gonna head down this way to the, the camping area. Cabin area, I should say. Yeah, there's, you, can just, you can get to the Falls Trail from that way. We'll be doing that tomorrow morning, but from a different spot. Yeah, parking for cabin people only. <laughs> That's not me. It'd be nice if you could park way down here, be a little bit closer, but we'll make do. It's not too far down here. Yeah, who knows how many times I've been to Ricketts Glen, quite a few times. Mostly for hiking the Falls Trail to Beaver Trail, but um, in recent times I've come across some uh, information, some videos about an interesting spot out here in the park that I've never been to. Like I said, there's the ruins of a dam out here that date back to early 1900s, around 1907. Someone's having fun. I've seen several videos recently of folks that have been here. Like PA Outdoor Couple and Kevin Salisbury, they both filmed here recently. I'm sure there's others too, but it's, they're, they're pretty impressive, so we gotta go check them out. Yeah, that Falls Trail goes right through the woods there, I guess I could walk on that. But anyway, yeah, just up ahead I see the gate for the old road that'll take us to the dam. It's called the Lake Lee Dam. Because there used to be a lake there called Lake Lee. I'll tell you a little bit of the history of it too as we make our way down there. Yeah, I guess you could just walk on the Falls Trail. Alright, so this is what we want, I'm pretty sure. Well, they do have a, they do have a map up here too. Um, pretty sure about the right spot. Yeah, that Falls Trail comes right down here. Okay, I think we, yeah. You are here. So this would take you, this is, this is the Falls Trail system over here, but we need, we need to go this way off the map. Speaking of map, let me show you where we're at. Yes, so once again, we're right here. Right there's where the cabins are. I parked up in this lot right there. Uh, that's beach lot number two. Hike down to the gate, so we're going to follow the trail down. There's a trail that goes to the falls, but we're going to go on just a little bit past that to right there. It says Dam Breast and Lake Lee, because it's all dried up. So that's where we're headed. All right, and away we go. Not too far of a walk. So our story dates back to Civil War times. Colonel. Colonel Robert Bruce Ricketts, I think he served in the Union Army, and he either, I forget how it went, he either bought this land or was awarded this land up here for his service. And uh, yeah, a lot of it was logged and different things like that. Not all of it, because there's some old growth forest in what's called the Glens Natural Area, where the waterfalls are. But in the early 1900s, 1905, 1907, he decided to get involved into the hydroelectric power industry creating water power via dams and stuff. So he built the Lake Lee Dam, and Lee is named after his daughter. But it was deemed not to be, to have been built, built all that well, I think, and what was one problem with it. And it, there's never enough really water coming out of it to generate much in the way of hydroelectric power, so it was never really, um, not, not much really ever happened with it unfortunately for him. And right around that time too, 1907, there was a financial panic going on too, so it just, it just did work out. Um, it, did help, it did hold water for quite a time. It wasn't until like 
1957 that they breached the dam, decided it was unsafe. I mean, it was deemed unsafe way back in like 1907, but they waited quite a few years to actually breach it for safety reasons. Kind of typical of history. Of, if you know the history of dams in Pennsylvania, that's pretty typical. So we've done videos on the Johnstown flood of 1889 and then the, the Austin dam failure in 1911. All right. Beautiful trail back here. But let's get to the dam. They're pretty impressive, the ruins, what's left. All right, we got split. So that's the Falls Trail goes that way. It's just a, another way to access the Falls Trail. Um, on the weekends, this place gets packed. So where I parked is just kind of like a, yeah, if, if the other places are <laughs> packed, you can park there get in the back way to the Falls Trail. But we're gonna go, I think we need to go to the left, Cherry Run Trail, Mountain Springs Trail. So the dam should be just down here then. Kind of excited, I love moments like this when you're approaching something that you've been hoping to see for a while and you're almost there. Okay, I'm already seeing the start of it here. Right up ahead here. Doesn't look impressive right here. Yeah, I just watched someone recently film here. I think it was like it's a Kevin, Kevin Salisbury, and he walked up here. This is the this is the dam right here, or the start of it. You can see the uh, the concrete. You can probably hear the stream down there too. But it's up here where you'll see, start to see just how big this thing is. Right now it's a lot of dirt on either side. I'll just keep you on. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be able to Let's see if we can get up there a little bit. It's kind of messed up right here, but you can see it's pretty massive out this way. You know, on second thought, <laughs> maybe we won't. This is all busted up right here. Even right here, it's we're pretty high up all of a sudden right here. Looking down in there. All right. Let's get down below. All right, so we were just up there. Let's make our way down here. Let's go in here. How oh, cool. I mean, you can see where they breached the dam right there, one of the spots. I just blew it open with dynamite. But yeah, I mean, it's impressive. Only gets more impressive that way. Yeah, here's another spot. So the, the dam waters would have been, the lake would have been on this side. You yeah, look at all this old rebar, 1907. Let's just go back here. You can see the area now. It's like a meadow right now. Yeah, check that out. Oh, there you can see, uh, okay, that's cool. Let's just go on down here, actually. Drop down into the lake, or what would have been a lake at one time. Yeah, so the waters were gone all the way up to there. This will all been flooded back here. But you can see the, the breaches they made in the dam. There's the big one over there. And there's a, who knew, I don't know, you know, I'm not sure, was that the initial breach they made maybe? Then more damage was done, I don't know. It's hard to say. Check that, you don't wanna fall in there. That's deep. I know I saw this on someone else's video. <laughs> you can see how the concrete comes all the way out here. 
the most of the water is flowing. There's a little hole up here, which I think we can, whoa, kind of make our way up to. All right, cool. Yeah, you can see the, I think it's Kitchen Creek coming down. Yeah, hopefully now you get some perspective how big this is. Yeah, amazing history here in Pennsylvania. Yeah, but once again, just some amazing views here. It's hard to picture it, you know, back in the day we'd be underwater right now, like I said, but anyway, really awesome spot. I'm not sure how full the dam was when they breached it, but let's get back on the other side. Can't really go any further up through this way without getting like really wet. <laughs> so let's head to the other side. I think there's some cool stuff to see over that way yet. I, I gotta change out my camera battery too here. Let's go on and head back through this area. Almost like an old jail. And that shows you, you know, you look at all these areas going up, it's all it has all this rebar underneath. Help hold the concrete in place. Yeah, just it's just amazing. I know. We, well, I don't think I don't think we did come all the way down here yet. Yeah, there's that deep pool. Looks pretty deep way up there. Let's just go down here too. Yeah, it's like little. I don't know. It's kind of cool. I think the furthest we're gonna go here. Go back to the trail. Wow. A little bit of graffiti in here at places. All right, let's uh, actually, maybe we can head back up this way. Turn back up to the trail. These rocks are wobbly. All right, let's keep exploring. If I can get up here. <laughs> Yep, and there's where the water's coming out that little hole. And there's that, that's interesting. Um, like a little valve or opening there. Kind of, I don't remember seeing anything on the other side. But anyway. Oh, but yeah, you can see there's water leaking in it all the way in there. And that wasn't breached, that's just from wear and tear. Age on the dam. <laughs> One of the reasons it's deemed unsafe, I guess. Yeah, th this heads down to uh, gl uh, Glen Lee, where a lot of the waterfalls are. Yeah, just, wow. Yeah, but once again, you get an idea just how big, just how big this is. You know, just massive ruins. Oh, think of all the money that went into making this and it was never really used. All right, let's head up this way. The dam starts to, as we go uphill, the dam starts to decrease in size here. I think there was some, 
interesting spots up here though too. Oh yeah, I remember seeing this on uh, Kevin's video too. There's this one, there's like a corner here in the dam. The dam comes across this way and it bends that way. There's this one, you know, corner piece there below. <laughs> Got trees growing in here. These are just fascinating. Looks like that's some of the original. And I guess I almost thought that looked like wood down there. But you notice the lines on here. This is the this is left over from the wood. They would use wood forms in here to pour the concrete and remove the wood. So that's why it looks like wood. See some of the calcium and stuff leaching through. This is like a playground. Yeah. Here's that corner piece. Cool if it, it'd be cool to camp out on one of these. <laughs> I don't think the state park would care for that though, but just kind of really awesome. Hey, if a zombie apocalypse comes, you can you could make little homes in here, I guess. As you can see, you know, it gets get smaller and smaller as you go up here and then it just turns to leave a lot of rock here then. This one back here looks interesting. I mean they're all kind of the same but let's see if I had to pick one to build a home. Maybe this one back here. Maybe just because I like the rock. Yeah. Here's home. <laughs> all right. Yeah, look at that, but look at that beautiful rock going up there. Oh, got some folks up here. Yeah, just looking back where we came from, you can just see how it drops down. Where the big part of the dam is. There's still the dam up there too. Let's see if we make, make our way up here. get up here oh yeah you can see how a lot of rebar sticking out the top you can see how it continues on just kind of ends up there then maybe let's walk Whoa, if I can walk over to this spot okay oh, maybe up here I'll probably get up and walk. I don't know if I really want to do that. I don't want to fear heights, but once again, that's looking out. The dam would be out that way. Pretty awesome, though. Just make our way back down. Just a, so impressive. You see some other folks up there. It kind of gives some scale, too, for how big it is. You see them. Let's just quick duck down here. This is beautiful here too. Huh. Beautiful little waterfall. Well, that trail looks inviting too. <laughs> ay ay ay. I don't have time for that today though. Little sneak peek of what we're gonna see tomorrow though. It's one thing to see it on someone's video. It's another thing here to see it in person for yourself. I 
since we're here, let's just go back through here again. It's just awesome. And I dropped something back here somewhere too. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, let's just go up in here. Yeah, that's so we came through. So seriously awesome place. I didn't find what I dropped anyway. If you watch my videos, I know you know I keep a little fake dragonfly on the back of my backpack pinned on there. Keeps helps keep the flies away, biting flies, but when I crawl through brush and stuff, sometimes it gets taken off. Anyway, I got others. <laughs> I got a whole bag of them just for that reason. Alright. Amazing place. Alright, but just one last look at the ruins from up here. Yeah, not too hard to get to if you want to come visit it for yourself. It's not that far of a walk. You know, if you're, if you're going to come to Ricketts Glen to, you know, hike the Falls Trail, whatever, you know, might as well come visit this spot. But that'll be it for this video then, folks. i got to get to my campsite. It's a little bit after four, about quarter after four. Plenty of time to set up and everything yet. But I am hungry. Didn't really, as usual on these trips, I don't eat lunch. Just some snacks. But yeah, I am camping out here. It's going to be a, an amazing evening, maybe down the low 50s. Awesome camping weather. All right, but maybe I'll see you there, folks. But always, as always, thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.